Hello and welcome to this video on the story of Frank Costello. Francesco Castiglia, known as Frank Costello, was an Italian-American gangster who rose to power in the world of organized crime in the 20th century. Today, we will take a closer look at his life and career, rise to power, government investigations, later years and death. Early Years Frank Costello was born on January 26, 1891, in Loro Poli, a small town in the Calabria region of southern Italy. His family immigrated to the United States when he was four years old and settled in East Harlem, a neighborhood in Manhattan with a large Italian-American population. Costello grew up in poverty and had to drop out of school at an early age to help support his family. As a teenager, Costello became involved in petty crime, including pickpocketing and stealing. He also joined a street gang known as the 104th Street Gang, which was involved in extortion and other illegal activities. The gang was affiliated with the Morello crime family, which was one of the earliest organized crime groups in New York. In the 1920s, prohibition was enacted, making the production and sale of alcohol illegal. This led to a rise in organized crime, as bootleggers and smugglers supplied the demand for alcohol. Costello saw an opportunity and became involved in bootlegging, first as a small-time distributor and later as a major player in the illegal trade. He also expanded his criminal activities into gambling and racketeering, building a network of connections and allies in the underworld. Despite his criminal activities, Costello was known for his intelligence and business acumen. He avoided violence whenever possible and preferred to work behind the scenes, using his charm and cunning to manipulate his enemies. The Rise to Power In the early 1930s, Frank Costello became a top lieutenant to Lucky Luciano, who was the most powerful crime boss in New York City and the boss of the Italian-American Mafia. Costello's intelligence, business acumen, and ability to avoid violence made him a valuable asset to Luciano, who saw him as a strategic thinker and trusted ally. Costello played a key role in the formation of the National Crime Syndicate, a confederation of organized crime groups across the country that worked together to control various criminal activities. He also helped to establish the Commission, a governing body made up of the bosses of the major crime families in the country, which was responsible for resolving disputes and coordinating criminal activities. By the 1940s, Costello had become one of the most powerful crime bosses in the country. He controlled a vast network of illegal activities, including gambling, racketeering, and labor unions. He had close relationships with politicians, law enforcement officials, and other influential figures, whom he used to his advantage. Frank Costello was also known for his impeccable dress sense and sophisticated demeanor, which earned him the nickname the Prime Minister of the Underworld. Despite his power and influence, Costello faced constant threats from rival gangsters and law enforcement officials. Government Investigations and Controversies Frank Costello's criminal activities drew the attention of law enforcement and government investigations throughout his career. In the 1950s, he was called to testify before the Kefauver Committee, a Senate committee investigating organized crime. During his testimony, Costello refused to answer questions, invoking his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. This led to a highly publicized confrontation with committee member Estes Kefauver, who accused Costello of being a menace to society. Costello was also involved in several controversies during his career. One of the most notable was his feud with fellow gangster Vito Genovese, who was his underboss in the 1940s. The two had a falling out over Genovese's ambitious plans to take over the crime family, and the conflict eventually led to a failed assassination attempt on Costello in 1957. Another controversy involving Costello was an alleged attempt to bribe a Supreme Court justice. In 1952, he was indicted on charges of bribery and conspiracy for allegedly trying to bribe Justice Sherman Minton to influence a case involving the deportation of one of Costello's associates. The case ultimately fell apart when a key witness recanted his testimony, and Costello was acquitted. Despite his legal troubles, Costello remained a powerful figure in the criminal underworld until the 1950s. The Last Period of His Life In the 1950s, the government's efforts to dismantle organized crime intensified, and Frank Costello's power began to decline. He was known for his reluctance to use violence and preferred to work behind the scenes and manipulate his enemies, but this made him vulnerable to attacks from rivals. In 1957, 
Costello survived an assassination attempt orchestrated by his former underboss Vito Genovese, who was seeking to take control of the Genovese crime family. The assassination attempt led to Costello's eventual retirement from his leadership position in the crime family. He was forced to give up control of his criminal empire and live a quieter life. Costello spent his later years enjoying golf and spending time with his family. Despite his criminal past, he was known to be a devoted husband and father, and he maintained a close relationship with his daughter, who was reportedly unaware of his involvement in organized crime until she was an adult. Costello also made occasional appearances in the media, often downplaying his role in organized crime and denying any involvement in illegal activities. He became a public figure and was often sought after by journalists seeking insight into the world of organized crime. Costello died of a heart attack on February 18, 1973, at the age of 82. He had been in poor health for some time and had suffered several heart attacks in the years leading up to his death. His funeral was attended by a number of prominent figures from the criminal underworld, as well as some politicians and celebrities. Despite his criminal past, Costello is remembered by some as a charismatic and respected figure in the world of organized crime. That's all that I have for now. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content.